best defense in a long time I've seen. Thank you again, Giants, for Shaquan Barkley. <laughs>
You know, the, the sky's the limit of what they can accomplish. Definitely far better than the defense that we had the year we won the Super Bowl in 2017. Definitely better than that defense. No, I, I, I would have to go back and say that the, the, the defense that the only defense that were better than this defense in recent time was those defenses of the early 2000s under the late great Jim Johnson. When, you no, know, we hired Vic Banjo to be our defensive coordinator. I was very optimistic about him. I have a, I have a, a, a friend of mine who's a Bears fan, and he, he always talked about how he wishes that the Bears would have not, you know, they wouldn't have let Vic Banjo go to the Broncos to be the head coach. Like, the, the, the guy is a hell of a defensive mind. Um, starting off the season, I was like, eh, you know. You know, it, it, was a, it was up and down for the defense, but as you see, as these guys build that, that that chemistry with each other, you know, when they when, when they when they get a sync with each other, you know, it, it's a work in progress. But week in and week out, this defense continues to get better and better and better. And you know, Big Van Joe deserves you no, know, he deserves a lot of props for what this defense looks like. I mean, remember what it looked like last year, Sean Desai and. Um, Oh, but that, that was just awful. That was just absolutely awful. So, um, just a humongous improvement by this defense this uh, this season. Um, and they just continue to get better, you know. Uh, a humongous upgrade from Sean Desai and Matt Patricia last year. Awful defense last year. Um, but in this game, man, like I said, man, there were quite a bit of positives in this game. But got to talk about some of the negatives. Jake Elliott, I don't know what's wrong with Jake Elliott, but he has got to get together. His first two field goals, he missed those two field goals. The Eagles should have had six points right there alone. And then later in the game, after we we, we pulled ahead, and for you know we pulled ahead this game, and kept you no know, he 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 missed the damn extra point. Then we score again, and he almost missed that one. Like Jake Elliott, man. I always defend you. I always say that you're one of the best kickers in the league because you are. But today just was not a good day for you. Now I'm not I'm not calling for your head like say oh the Eagles need to get a new kicker. I'm not there. You no, know, I understand sometimes you have bad days, but today you know you you today was an awful day for you. It wasn't a bad day. It was an awful day, and we got, we gotta step that up. Um, the guy that deserves the game ball today, Grant Calcaterra. That touchdown drive where the Eagles uh, where they you know pulled ahead, you no know, uh, for good when they pulled ahead, you know in the game. Uh, Dallas got to call the pass from Jalen Hurts. Um, watched this defender came and pried the ball loose behind him, and Grant Grant, Grant Calcaterra, Calcaterra was right there at the right time to land on that fumble, and the Eagles of course. That set up a touchdown run by Shaquan Barkley. So Shaquan Barkley. Shaquan Barkley, Shaquan Barkley, Shaquan Barkley, Shaquan Barkley. New York Giant fans, New York Giants organization, thank you guys. Thank you guys so much for giving us, um, just practically handing us Shaquan Barkley. What a pickup he has been. When we, when we got this guy, I said, man, if he can stay healthy, he could be for our offense exactly what um, Christian McCaffrey what has been for the um, for the um, San Francisco 49ers offense, and he has been exactly that and more. Just, just you know, the, the guy, the guy is a playmaker, absolute playmaker. Another phenomenal day by him. So thank you again, New York Giants organization. Thank you guys again for just basically handing us. Um, Shaquan Barkley because he has been our offense is just so much more dynamic when he's out there. Now going over the numbers in this game, Jalen Hurts had a, another solid day. Didn't turn the football over, which is the most important thing. Had some big runs for us, you know, uh, uh, including one where he stretched out and got a first down to keep a drive going. But um, another solid day by Jalen Hurts. Didn't turn the ball over. Uh, 18 for 28, 221 yards. No touchdown passes, no interceptions, but he did have a touchdown run on the Philly shove. Um, Saquon Barkley, 26 carries, 146 yards, 
5.6 average a uh, carry, two touchdowns, including the, including the last two touchdowns that we scored in this game, you know, putting the game away. Kenneth Gainwell, four carries for 43 yards, 10.0 average a carry. Jalen Hurts, 10, 10 carries for 39 yards, 3.9 average a carry. Touchdown to Philly Shove. Uh, A.J. Brown, solid day, five catches for 65 yards, 13.0 average a catch. Uh, Dallas got it, five catches for 61 yards, 12.2 average a catch. Um, Saquon Barkley, two catches for 52 yards, including a humongous catch that, um, that you know, really got to set us up and, you know, down the field. Uh, Jahan Dotson, one catch for eight yards. Kenneth Gainwell, one catch for six yards. Zach Bond, just all over the field as usual. Seven tackles, seven tackle assists. Um, Nicobe Dean, seven tackles, two tackle assists. Reed Blankenship had a big interception for us. Five tackle, four tackles, five tackle assists. That big interception late in the game. Uh, Jalen Carter, four tackles, three tackle assists. Brandon Graham, three tackles, one tackle assists. DG also had a sack. Uh, Josh Sweat, three tackles, um, also had a sack. Um, Cooper DeGene, two tackles, three tackle assists. Nolan, um, Nolan Smith Jr., two tackles, one tackle assists, also had a sack. Uh, C.J. Garner Johnson, two tackles, one tackle assists. Uh, Darius Ray, two tackles. Jordan Davis, one tackle, two tackle assists. Bryce Huff, one tackle. Moro Jomo, one tackle. Uh, Milton Williams, one tackle assists. Um, kick returns, Will Shipley, one return for 33 yards. Uh, Kenneth Gainwell, one return for 18 yards. Um, punt returns, Cooper DeGene, two, two punt returns for 20 yards. Jake, yeah, Jake Elliott, like I said, love the guy, man, but today was a was an all day for him. He was he was uh, 50% for, for kicking field goals. He was two for four, 50.0%, um, like I said, uh, 50%. His longest field goal, 31 yards, eight points total scored. Uh, Braden Mann, um, three returns, 133 yards, um, and, and, uh, three punts, 133 yards, 44.3 average, one inside the 20. Let's see, overview. Overview of the game here. Scoring overview here, uh, score summary. Um, in, in the uh, first quarter, with three point uh, uh, three minutes and twenty six seconds, Brian with Robinson with a one yard touchdown. Um, Zane Gonzalez with a field goal or with an extra point. Watts is up seven nothing in the second quarter with nineteen seconds left on the clock. Jake Elliott kicked a twenty one yard field goal in the second quarter, seven to three at halftime. Washington in the um, second in the third quarter with eleven minutes and three seconds left on the clock. Zane Gonzalez kicked a 40 a 45 yard field goal, 10 to 3 uh, Washington. With five minutes and 32 seconds left in the uh, third quarter, uh, uh, Jake Elliott kicked a 31 yard field goal. Scores now 10 to 6 um, Washington. In the fourth quarter, Eagles just went off. Second half, they just they, second half was much better than the first half for the Eagles, but they went off in that fourth quarter uh, with 12 minutes and left in the fourth quarter. Um, Jalen Hurts with the Philly shove. Jake Kelly misses the extra point. It is now 10 to 12 uh, Eagles. Eagles hit the lead for good. Uh, with four minutes and, four, and 58 seconds left in the uh, fourth quarter, um, Saquon Barkley with a 23 yard touchdown run. Jake Kelly with the extra point. It is now 10 to 19 Eagles. With um, four minutes and after, after the interception by Reed Blankenship, with um, four minutes and 58 seconds left in the. Um, in the fourth quarter, Saquon Barkley with a 23-yard touchdown run. Um, it is now 26-10 Eagles. Um, and, and Zach Ertz, former Eagles um, tight end Zach Ertz, got a touchdown. He caught a five-yard touchdown from, from Jaden Daniels. Um, Zach Ertz with a two-point conversion pass for Jaden Daniels. Foul score, 26 to, Eagle, 26 to 18 Eagles. So, yeah. The Eagles are now 8-2. They are now a game and a half on top in the NFC East. Um, just some more numbers here. Uh, total um, yards. Eagles, uh, I mean, Washington had 264 total yards. Eagles had 434 total yards. Uh, passing yards. 
220 for the Eagles, 171 for Washington. Rushing yards, 228 for the Eagles, 93 for Washington. Yards per play, 6.2 for the Eagles. Average um, yards per play, 4.2 average for Washington. Um, first downs, 23 first down for the Eagles, 18 for Washington. Third down efficiency, um, 3 for 12 for Washington. 9 for 16 for the Eagles. Fourth down efficiency, 1 for 2 for Washington. 0-0 uh, zero, zero for the Eagles. The Eagles did not you know, get a fourth down uh, conversion. Washington, you know, late, later in the game, tried to go for one in the red zone, and the Eagles defense got a big stop there. Total plays ran, Washington ran 63. The Eagles ran 70. Uh, Sats allowed, uh, Washington allowed three. The Eagles allowed two. Total punts, five by, the, by Washington, three by the Eagles. Uh, penalty yards, four um, for 25 yards for Washington, four for 49 yards by the Eagles. Fumbles lost, near, near the team fumbled the ball. Interceptions thrown, well, um, Jada Daniels threw an interception, the Eagles did not. Time of possession, the Eagles held the ball for 26 minutes and 56 seconds. Uh, uh, the Eagles held it for 33 minutes and four seconds. So, um, yeah, like I said, man, just overall, um, the score should have been, if you, if you count those field goals, 33, you know, it should have been 33 to, to 18 final score. Uh, I, I hope that whatever Jake Elliott, you know, I, I, I don't know what to say, man. Like, today was just a, it was a really off day by Jake Elliott. And I don't know how much that has to do with the elements out there. I guess it was a cold day out there. How much, no, because we barely, no, because freaking um, Nick Seriani loves to, you know, go for it so much. Maybe, you know, Jake Elliott's foot is rusty because he doesn't get, you know, nearly enough uh, opportunities to kick as the points of field goals. I don't know. But, you know, God do better. You know, we're paying Jake Elliott $6 million a year. He is one of the better kickers in the game, but today was definitely an off day by Jake Elliott. I'm not gonna. I'm not calling for Jake Elliott's head. I know some Eagle fans might be doing that, but this Eagle fan right here is not doing that. It's like, okay, I get it. People have off days. It happens, you know. People have off days, but Jake Elliott, my my, my man, Jake Elliott, man, you got you gotta get it together, brother. You gotta get it together. Um, again, um, Neo Giant fans, thank you so much for giving us Shaquan Barkley. Very much appreciate it. <laughs> we appreciate it. Thank you. The Eagles, um, you know, continue to own the Washington Commanders. I saw a lot of these Washington fans talking all this trash going to this game. They're having their first decent season in a long time, but and a lot of them started tooting their horns as if they were going to come into this game. They're, they're going to come into Philadelphia and manhandle the Eagles. Even even early in the game when they started off winning, I'm like, you know, okay, it's, it's still a long game, man. It's still so much time left. The Eagles tend to be a better second half team, and that's what happened in this game. The defense, the Eagles defense, like I said, man. Give Vic Bangio his 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 props. This defense is drastically improved from what it was, you know, last year. You know, the young guys like uh Cooper Zajin, Quinyan Mitchell, um, you know, those guys, man. Uh, Nicobe Dean playing well. Zach Bond, who I had no idea who this guy was when we signed him in free agency. Now I know his damn name. These guys have drastically changed our defense for the better. The, the defensive line was getting the pressure. They were getting the Jada Daniels. Like I said in my previous video, we got to get the pressure on Jada Daniels. That's exactly what they did. As good of a quarterback as Jada Daniels, um, Jaden Daniels is, and he is a good quarterback. I got respect for him. He is still a rookie. If you get the pressure on him, you cover well, he's going to make a rookie mistake here and there. And late in the game, that's what happened. Reed, pick his, uh, pick his ship. That's what I'm going to call him from now on. You know, that, that guy, all that guy does is intercept footballs. Reed, pick his, uh, pick his ship. You know, picking them off. And that was a big, that was a really a turnover, uh, a turning point in the game. Because at that point, it was still a game that Washington had a shot to win. But that interception, plus Shaquan Barkley scoring that touchdown, that pretty much put it away. 
Now, I know Washington went down the field and scored on that last off offensive possession. But all the Eagles had to do, after, you know, because it was like 32, I think like 30 minutes left on the clock, somewhere, somewhere around there. And then they went for the onside kick. All the Eagles had to do was get on the onside kick, and, and it was over. And that's exactly what happened. We got Washington exactly where he wanted them at. Late in that, late in that fourth quarter, you could just see we were wearing them down. We had them exactly where we wanted them at. We were tearing them down. Because early in the game, they were flying all over the place, you know, trying to stop uh, Squad Barkley. But late in that game, they started getting tired. And when you get a defensive line and linebackers tired, like we got Washington, that's where you break away. And Jaquan Barkley with two big touchdown runs to put this game away for us. So the Eagles still got a lot of things. There's, there's still things they need to work on, but there's definitely a lot of positives to take out of this game. The Eagles proved that they are, in fact, the best team in the NFC East. They are, in fact, one of the better teams in the league. If they can, if they can play a complete game, which is what we're still hoping for, then, yeah, they will, they will continue to send a message why they are one of, if not no, if not the best team in the league, you know. I'm not going to say they're the best team in the league, but they're definitely the best team in the NFC East. So keep it going, boys, you know. Enjoy this. This is effectively a mini bye week because now the Eagles are done for the week. Now I can sit back and enjoy stress-free football all day Sunday and, of course, Monday night. That's what I love. So I can sit back and enjoy stress-free football Sunday and Monday night. Sunday, no, all, all through Sunday and Monday night. Eagles got their game out of the way. We're 8-2. We are now a game and a half on top of the NFC East. Let's keep this thing going. Sit straight wins since the bye week. Let's keep this thing going. Let's get ready for those, those Los Angeles Rams. Sunday night football on, on November the 24th. So... That's the next game for the Eagles, November 24th, Sunday night football. Let's get ready to go. Um, let's get ready to go play those Washington, oh, excuse me, not Washington, those Los Angeles Rams in Los Angeles. You know, a familiar opponent for us that we play pretty regularly. No, I don't know. So, gonna sit back and enjoy this win for the next couple days. You know, sit, enjoying being on top of the division, eight and two. But like I said. No, quick. No, but, but like I said, after a couple of days of, of of enjoy this win, we gotta get ready for those Rams Sunday night football in LA. So that's really all I got for you guys in this video. Um, you know, just you no, know, very very happy to beat Washington. Signs those dang on it, Commander fans who have been doing a whole lot of talking, a whole lot of chirping throughout the week. It's so great to, to silence them and, and remind them that the Eagles are still the better team. So that was great to do. This this Washington team, this Washington team, we gotta see them again down the road. I was going to this game. I was like a little bit okay. Yeah, they're gonna be tough. And and, and, and you know they're not they're they're a good team. JJ Daniels is a very is a very good quarterback with a bright future ahead of him. There's gonna be a lot of battles between JJ Daniels and, and uh, Jalen Hurts. J, uh, yeah, Jalen Hurts over you no know, in the, you know over the years. Gonna be a lot of fun to watch. But, but the Eagles have proven they are still the better team. So let's enjoy this win, and let's get ready for those Los Angeles Rams in Los Angeles on November 24th, Sunday Night Football. But as always, go Birds. Spunky Nights 91 is out there. Flag or fly. Peace. That's all, folks.